Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, May the 28th. We're going to talk with a couple of moms who are demanding action. We have Kristen Bowen and uh, Katie Terry, each coming from their individual homes in Columbia. Welcome, ladies. Hi, Paul. Thank you for having us. It's our Thank pleasure. You. What 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 are what are moms saying today with moms demand action? Well, we're um, with you today to invite your listeners to join us for a big event that's coming up in June. Uh, we call it Wear Orange. It's National Gun Violence Awareness Day on um, Friday, June the fifth, and uh, the following weekend is Wear Orange Weekend. Mm-hmm. Now, this is not a a get together event, is it? Well, no, because um, this year we are bringing our communities together to wear orange from home uh, to keep our families and others safe from gun violence. Um, But, you know, just because uh, of coronavirus, gun violence doesn't stop, right? And neither does our movement to stop gun violence. So we're continuing to support and educate and organize people for safer communities from home this year. So what are you hoping to accomplish by getting folks to wear orange on that particular day? We like to ask people to wear orange during Wear Orange Weekend to recognize and pay tribute to everyone who's lost a friend, a family member, a community member to gun violence. Um, 100 people are killed by gun violence every day in this country, but that's just the number of people who are killed. There's a ripple out effect of mothers, fathers, brothers, grandparents who are left um, sort of with an empty space. And so this weekend is a tribute to all of our survivors. Um, I did a little research before coming on, and in 2019 we lost 12 people in Colombia. Um, and that's just 12 people too many. So uh, Wear Orange is just a way to pay tribute and take action on behalf of gun violence awareness. And we know that coronavirus is really exacerbating the gun violence crisis in our country, um, bringing heightened problems with domestic violence and unintentional shootings and gun suicide. Um, And we know gun city city violence uh, is also continuing, uh, but with many of our first responders and violence intervention workers being um, unable to assist in the problem. So we think that wearing orange is as important as ever this year. Right. If if people want to join your organization, you accept not just moms, but you accept dads too, correct? <laughs> yes, we are a nonpartisan <laughs> grassroots movement with moms, dads, and anyone can join uh, in okay. all fifty states. Yep. So how do they how do they uh, get information? We're we're out of time here, ladies. But how can they join through your website? Yes, we have a special website for joining Wear Orange. We're having an event on Facebook Live to observe Wear Orange Weekend on June 6th at 2 p.m. Uh, you can find out more about Missouri Moms Demand Action's Wear Orange events by going to wearorange.org or just find us on our Facebook page, uh, Moms Demand Action Missouri on Facebook. All right, Kristen and Katie, thank you so much uh, for visiting with us today, and, and best of luck, all right? And Thank we will you, talk Paul. to you soon. You're mm-hmm. welcome. Stay healthy, ladies. You, you too, too, Paul. Okay, now on the phone from Columbia, I've got my friend Rose Volman, uh, Service for Independent Living. And Rose informed me that May is Older Adult Appreciation Month. Is that right, Rose? That is correct. We're, we're, considered, an, we're considered an older adult when we're in our 50s and beyond. Fifty-five plus, Paul. <laughs> Fifty-five plus, and when are you considered a uh, <laughs> a super senior adult? Would that well, be? We're in, not. In we're not going to go. We're not going to go that route today. We're just going <laughs> to talk about senior clinic and the program um, services for independent living has for aging in place. Okay, so what have you got? What Tell me about the program. Well, it's an amazing program. It's funded by the City of Columbia in Boone County, so it applies to residents 55-plus in the City County, um, income 200% of the federal poverty level, um, which is over $2,000 a month, but 80% of our consumers live on less than $900 a month. If, 
you're saying the, the, the poverty level is at what level? Well, we we provide the services at 200%, so it's double, so it would be like uh, about $1,040 a month or so is what the poverty level is, and then um, our folks make less than 900 a month, so we provide these services free um, through the generosity of the city and the county. And one of the most popular programs we've got among consumers is where a volunteer is matched for friendly visiting. A lot of these folks don't have family. Their friends have passed away. Um, they, um, you know, they don't have transportation. So we match volunteers to do a weekly visit. Um, they can play cards, watch a movie, or just chat. And so that's pretty popular. The other thing we do is a food pantry delivery and grocery shopping um, part of the program where volunteers provide transportation for grocery shopping or will deliver food pantry boxes on a monthly basis. Well, how Rose, how are you doing uh, providing the volunteers visiting in the home during the uh, coronavirus pandemic? Well, you know, that's a great question, Paul. What we're doing is, um, of course, we can't recruit additional volunteers for this program right now per se, but it's amazing what you can do over the phone. And um, some of our folks are tech savvy, so they can do their little Zoom visits. But you can do a, a weekly phone call or two and catch up on things. Sometimes it's just hearing somebody else's voice that helps these folks, um, you know, deal with their depression and isolation. Um, one of the, the amazing things that we do with this partnership with the City of Columbia is a community development block block grant where minor home repairs or ramps can be constructed. Um, but again, it's just for citizens in the city limits um, of Columbia. Okay. If people want to help out, Rose, we're out of time. But what's the number to call for to volunteer? 573-874-1646. Okay. Rose Bowman, thank you so much for visiting with us, Service for Independent Living. We'll talk to you again real soon, okay? Thank you so much, Paul. We appreciate your support. You're welcome. That's our show for today. Join us again tomorrow, Radio Friends.